Every time Microsoft release a new mainstream version of Windows 10, they upgrade their Windows Media Creation tool and the user interface of their website to only display the latest version of Windows 10. Now, in some cases, some users may experience some problems with the latest version of Windows 10 and may need to reinstall the older version of Windows 10. Sometimes they'll need to do this and then download a UFI BIOS update from their OEM and then the latest version of Windows 10 will install fine. And other times it may just be better to hold on to the old version of Windows 10 until Microsoft release another new version of Windows 10, which may resolve your problem. Now, the issue is that we cannot access the download links. Now, the installation ISOs are, of course, still on Microsoft servers. Fortunately, there's a third party tool called the Windows ISO Download Tool, which offers all versions of Windows 10 that Microsoft have released to date. So what you need to do is go ahead and install this tool and basically select the version of Windows 10 that you want. So I'm going to select Windows 10 version 1709. I'm going to select the Windows 10 slash Pro installation ISO. And then under language, because I'm from the United Kingdom, I'm going to make sure I select proper English, which Microsoft call English International. And Microsoft call American English English. So be careful of this distinction and don't install American English by accident. So once you've generated the direct download link, you can either click the big chunky download buttons to the left hand side, or you can copy the download link and paste it into your browser. So if you look at the download link to the left hand side, you've got a link to the Microsoft server and to the right hand side of the download link, you have this question mark T equals and then this big long code. This is a token and it's time limited. So it will last for up to 24 hours. And for this reason, we need to use this tool in order to generate the download links. Because if we wrote a list of the download links, it would just all expire within 24 hours. And most of the installation ISOs are about four gigabytes in size. And you're downloading a single large file. So if your internet connection disconnects midway during the download, chances are you're going to have to restart the download again. So the faster your internet connection, the more reliable your download will be. So as I mentioned, these installation ISOs are relatively large in size, around about four gigabytes. So before using them, you should check that they are okay. And the best way of doing this is by checking the installation ISO checksums. Now direct download links will always have the same installation ISO checksum as the source. This differs when you use the Windows Media Creation tool because you actually create the installation ISO from setup files downloaded on your computer. Okay, so what you're wanting to do is download a tool called Rufus. And Rufus is a great tool for making Windows bootable USBs. But it also has the ability to check installation ISO checksums. So if we double click Rufus, accept the user account control prompt, we can ignore the step about checking for updates because we just downloaded the latest version of Rufus. And then we can select select, load the installation ISO, and then press the Wii tick button. And this will compute the installation ISO checksums. Now, if you're from the English speaking world, you can essentially compare your installation ISO checksums with the ones that I got. So basically, what you can do is right click the MD5, copy it. And in the video description, you can open up the link in Google Chrome, then you can press Ctrl and F and just paste the checksum. 
If you get a match, you know your installation ISO is OK and you can proceed to make the bootable USB. If you're installing Windows in a non-English language, then check with Google and it should show a match for your installation ISO checksum. And if there is no match, your installation ISO is unique, meaning you've got a duff download and you should delete it and try again. So once you've got an installation ISO with a good checksum, you can proceed to make the bootable USB. So in most cases, you're already set up to go. I would just advise changing the volume label to something comprehensible and include the version number. So make it like Win 1709. So you know that it's Windows 10 version 1709. In some older computers, you'll need to change the partition scheme from GPT to MBR. This isn't an older computer, so I've reverted back to GPT. The target system, the file system, and the cluster size will automatically update when you toggle between GPT and MBR. So you don't need to bother with these. Okay, so once you've done this, select Start. You'll need to accept a warning that your bootable USB flash drive will be formatted. And then it's just a case of waiting for Rufus to make your bootable USB. When Rufus is finished, it will say ready and you can close it down. Your old Windows 10 installation media is now ready for use.